Sairam, these days there is a big confusion among men and women on what is the leading symptom when somebody has this they must approach a doctor to avoid delay where the case may be actually a heart attack there is so much of confusion there is so much of wrong information in the social media and people keep asking me when should we go to a doctor now you may have seen in movies in serials that somebody who has got actual heart attack is whining away in pain which is predominantly on the left side of the chest and this pain is radiating to the inner surface of the arm on the left side. This has been the traditional way and in fact it is true as is depicted it is true in about 50 to 60 percent of cases. In other words somebody is having a sudden onset of chest pain which is predominantly on the left side of the chest and this pain is radiating to the left inner arm or your upper limb that is the classical presentation of a heart attack so far so good but then when they have if somebody is going to attribute it to something else which is say for example they call it in common parlance gas problem or indigestion and they sit on that they are actually missing the so-called window period where every minute every second is extremely valuable for the person to stay alive therefore number one the so-called chest pain which is coming on the left side and we said it is only there in 50 to 60 percent of cases you have a hearty meal you have gone to a function a party and you had a hearty meal spicy food you have got the so-called gas or indigestion and we tend to eat more than what we normally should and then you will say this is all is the reason for my so-called indigestion or fullness or tightness in the upper abdomen lower chest this may be fine in majority of cases but if this is associated with an undue sweating let it be known that probably you are sitting on a time bomb when every el everyone else around you for the ambient temperature is not sweating and you were also not sweating but then now you have started to have chest pain associated with sweating that is a sinister sign so second point which we should note is any discomfort not only in the left side of the chest but anywhere in the chest or upper abdomen what very easily you will pass off saying that it is because of my having more food or spicy food that may not be the case and you may be actually on the verge of having a heart attack the third thing what we have to understand also is there are people who will actually experience a pain in the lower jaw we call this as mandible or lower jaw now imagine somebody is having pain here sometimes after food sometimes after a walk and they think it is a dental pain we have known of patients who have coronary artery disease they were having a heart attack they have gone to a dental surgeon thinking that they have got a dental problem you are likely that you may have either survived that but then your heart function is poor and in an unfortunate event you have gone to the wrong doctor you made a diagnosis that it is dental and then you have missed the bus and that's it you are no more on this planet therefore the third type of presentation of heart attack is pain in the jaw fourth there are especially in women there can be a back pain of your upper back now if i say this all of you may get alerted and go to doctors for no apparent reason doesn't matter even if you go to a doctor and clarify it because i'll tell you how it is going to be clarified so fourth we said is pain which is occurring in the upper back especially in females this is actually a heart pain but then it is in what we call as atypical situation or atypical site so this backache can be because of a variety of reasons women especially when they cross their 40th year can have calcium deficiency can have vitamin d3 deficiency can have osteoporosis can have ligament strain 
and may also have obesity. All these things may add on to this backache and these are all valid real world reasons. But this time you may be having a heart attack. Therefore, whenever you are having symptoms where there is a chest pain associated with sweating or vomiting and the other sides are anywhere in the chest, upper abdomen, back, including lower jaw, there is no harm in going to a doctor. And this doctor is going to, 9 out of 10 times may say it may not be related. There are also instances where people have been admitted to hospital, observed over a period of four hours. They said there is nothing wrong with your heart. In fifth hour, they realized that for the last four hours, the doctors also realized that they actually made a mistake and it is an ongoing myocardial infarction or heart attack. So that's the reason why even doctors need to have this important information that not all times a patient will present this way. The last and final, there is what is called as an asymptomatic heart attack. In an unfortunate event, the patient is having heart attack, has no symptoms, will drop dead in front of you and that is it. So at least let us not talk about that because there is nothing else anyone can predict or see. But in the instances which I have mentioned earlier, all you need and your family members need is to have this information back of your minds that it can be heart attack. Now let us say you go to a hospital with these. They take an ECG because we keep getting phone calls like this. They have taken an ECG, they think it is normal. You repeat ECG after a few hours, it will be abnormal. They have done an echo, it is normal. We have been sent home, but my father is still continuing to get pain. Go to hospital, insist that you get admitted and see. And once in a while, as I said, I have seen patients who actually had heart attack. It was picked up about four to five hours later. Why is it important that you should rush to the doctor? Whenever you have a, a even if it means a false alarm, six out of 10 of those who are going to have heart attack are going to die on this spot without reaching the hospital. That is it. There is nothing else to discuss. You should be lucky enough or your family member should be lucky enough to be in that four out of 10 where you reach a decent hospital by that I mean where there is a sensible doctor who knows all this information and is able to make a diagnosis. And if the ECG shows straight away changes, that is it, you, are, you have a heart attack, this person has to go to a catheterization lab and must have an angiogram immediately and followed by angioplasty if that center and cardiologist are confident of and all the facilities are available. The reason why I want to give this strong message is do not get lost in taking second opinion, third opinion, tenth opinion and die or suffer a major damage to your heart. That's not the time to think of second opinion, third opinion. You are having a heart attack, you need to go to catheterization lab. Don't think doctors are misleading you. If you miss that vote, that is end of the story. There is another category of patients who are not having a heart attack, but are having repeated chest pain on exertion or exercise. We call it exertional angina. And in them, yes, there is time. You can take umpteen number of opinions and then we get you onto a treadmill. There is a chance for us to see whether this ECG is going to show any changes with your exercise. And if that is so, then we will decide, yes, you have got what we call as ischemia or lack of blood supply or reduced blood supply rather than stoppage of blood supply, which happens in myocardial infarction or heart attack. That is a different kettle of fish or ball game where yes, the doctor has time, you have time to make any number of decisions, review your decisions, look at alternatives, and then you will have the treatment and hopefully either with angioplasty or with surgical revascularization, your heart is sorted out. And from then onwards, if you take a few precautions, hopefully you'll have essentially a normal life. To summarize, the heart attacks can occur without any gender bias or age bias. They can occur at any time of the day. Statistically, we find that they are more common in early hours of the day. If any chest pain, anywhere in the chest, but predominantly if it's there on the left side, radiating to the arm, or any upper abdominal pain, or any features of gas, what you describe as gas problem or indigestion, or an upper back pain, or a jaw pain, all these may mean that you are having a heart attack, 
let you and your family members be aware go to a doctor have a proper evaluation and play it safe then you will be able to save your life or your loved one's life